In this video, I will show you how to transfer your Power World server save game to another server. Then I will show you a tool that you can use to fix the issue where it has you make a new character rather than loading your old one. This is a deviation from the videos I normally make. However, I have seen people struggle with this issue and found an easy tool that I think people should know about. All right, let's get on with it. I will quickly cover how to move your server's save folder if you don't already know this. First, navigate to your Power World save folder, which looks like a long string of letters and numbers. If this is a local co-op save, it will be located here. You can hit the Windows key plus R and type this into the field and hit enter. Then navigate to saved, save games, then a folder with your Steam ID, and here your folder will have some random characters and numbers. If you have multiple folders, open them up, and if it says local.save, then this is a single player world and not your multiplayer one. If this is a Steam server that you're going to be moving from, open Steam and then right click on the PAL World dedicated server option, select manage, and then browse local files. Here you'll go to PAL, saved, save games, and it'll be the random characters and numbers here. If this is a server from a host provider, you will have to use whatever service they provide, whether that's FTP or a file browser from the website. Once you get that folder, you will want to make a backup in case any issues occur with the fix or the move. So just make a copy somewhere else on your computer. If this is a co-op world, open up the world folder, the one with all the numbers and letters, and delete the worldoption.save file. Next, copy that folder with all the letters and numbers to your new dedicated server location. Your server should have the same file structure from where you copied the folder, pal, saved, save games, zero folder, and place your world there. If you're missing some of these folders like saved or save games, you may have to run your server at least once for it to create these folders. Then you will right click and select rename on that folder and hit control C to copy the name. Be careful not to edit or change the name at all. Then we will navigate to the saved folder by going back a couple steps here. Go to config, open up the Windows server or Linux server, depending on what you're running. Then right click and edit the game user settings.ini file. You will want to find the dedicated server names field and change it to what the folder was by hitting control V to paste the name that we copied. Then you will save this file. You can go ahead and boot up your server, have everyone connect, and see if everything works. If it does, great, you're done. If you run into any issues with players being asked to create new characters, I will go over how to fix that now. Whoever is prompted to make a new character, have them do so and spawn into the world and then log out. Have them make the name of the new character the same as their old one, just to make this easier. Then when everyone is done doing this, log out and shut down the server. Click on the link in the description and download the latest release of Ionic Burn's GUI tool by selecting Assets and clicking the top link. If you're not running your server locally, you will have to download the Save World folder again to your computer to run this tool. You may want to make another backup here, just in case anything goes wrong. You don't have to have everyone log in again to create the new characters. Go ahead and open the tool now. It may take a moment to open. You will then click Browse and navigate to your Save World folder, open it, and select the level.save file. Here it may hang for 5 to 10 minutes, depending on how large your file is and how fast your computer is. It may say it has stopped responding, but just give it time. For brevity's sake, I will be fast forwarding here to when it's completed. Next, you will then be shown two fields. The top one, you will select the old character, the one that you want to keep, and the bottom one, you will be selecting the new character that everyone just made. The bottom character should normally be the level 0 character, the top will be the higher level one. Then click Migrate, and accept the warning that pops up. Again, this process can take a long time, so if it becomes unresponsive, just wait it out. I will skip ahead here again just to save time. Once it's done, you will either see this option, or it will close out by itself. You will then have to do this for each player on the server that was having this issue. 
once this has been done, again, if you're not running this locally, you will now have to move this folder back to your server. You can go ahead and start it up, have everyone log in, and make sure that all of their saves are correct. This also does fix the issue that people were having with the old tool where they could not pick up their pals after running this. Yannick Byrne is the one who created this GUI tool that uses the Power World host save fix made by XNull. So I want to thank both of them for making these fixes. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please leave a like. I normally make videos about retro handheld devices, so if you're interested in those, please subscribe to my channel, Firex Techs. And as always, thank you for watching.